Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to demonstrate how to load CSV file to my SQL database. CSV file is one of most popular used data file for exchange data between system to system, application to application, and the front page to back end. My SQL database is also one of most popular used database in many applications. Here is uh, on the my Linux, it's there's uh, my SQL database and I have a table called a player. This this player has a column name, membership, gender and the level which are in this video, we are going to see how to load this data into this table. And uh, currently, this table, if I select star from this player, you can see there's no record in this table yet. So now let's go to our terminal. So we are going to build a C++ program called load csv mysql.cpp. Okay, so because we are loaded from C CSV file, so this program we have to first instantialize a file object called my file, which is in stream. And the file name is come from the command line from taken from argument. And if this file is open, and then we are going to make a loop, read line by line the line by line and after we read this data from the line into the line variable which is going to the string what we're going to do we're going to split the line by comma because it says we file and we build an insert statement and we save the insert statement into a vector called my vector here's my vector which type is sql cq string which is going to save our insert statement. So I have created a function, this function called a CSV split. The return type is the SQL string, which insert a statement. And the input string is the line, which we read from file. So first of all, we have to convert this string into a string stream, which called a my stream. And we have a declare a um, SQL string called my SQL and I standard string is a substring called my string. And uh, so for the insert statement, we are going to insert into a player table and the name, membership, gender, level, and we also insert a create date. So we know this member which day is created. So, so insert statement should be inserted into table and the column and the values and the bracket. After that, we will be split by comma using stream, get line stream. It's a, this is a substring, which first round, we make a, make a loop of four. We know the first uh, loop we got a substring is the name second loop the got substring is the membership and the third loop is the got string is the gender and the fourth loop is the level after that when we finished we append is the date is created date which we go you you're going to use a now function which is from my sql function and then we build our insert statement so in order to see this, we can print out this std say out what we're going to print my sql dot c Line. So we see we can see what is the insert statement stream we are building, and uh, I think we we 
don't need a this one is okay so and then now we come to here so we read the line we're going to do is call this function which is safe to the vector which is my vector dot push back what we're going to push back is the sql string which you get back from the csv split and what we pass is a line and then we save to the my vector so it's clean and after finish read all the line we close the file and the following this try which we are going to start in loading to the database so in previous previous video we have said that when we connect to the mysql database we have to declare the driver connection statement and the first we have my driver have using this uh, gate driver instance after we get uh, my driver and then we have to use my driver connect method to connect to my sql database this is the connecting string which connect to my sql database and I, after we connect to the my database we have to set up a schema which i have the schema called a test and after we get a schema we're going to create a my statement and after that we're going to run our sql statement so because we saved our sql statement in the vector so we're going to use a for loop the iterator equal my vector dot begin and the uh, iterator not equal my vector dot end and i iterator plus plus so we make a loop for so in this loop what we are going to do we are going to because the return of this vector iterator is a SQL insert statement so what we are going to do we just going to run this my st and the execute what we are going to execute just the, re the return of this iterator and they're going to be insert the record into our database after finish the loop we just have to delete our statement delete our connection and if something wrong there'll be catch by this exception and uh, tell us what's wrong if nothing wrong they'll be going to print out the end of loading size file and return zero so now let's save this and let's see. So now let's make it. This is our program. Okay, now we got compiled. So this is our executable, and here is our CSV file. We just run this file. Okay, so say, you know, when we read this file, we create a three insert statement. Insert into player, and the name is John Bolland, and the second insert name is Tom Pascual, and the third one, this insert statement, is Martina Urban. So let's go to our database. So now we say select star from player. So you can see now we have inserted our data from CSV file to our database. This is a Hui. Thanks for watching my video. Wish this video is useful and enjoyable. It's going to be great to have your feedback. Thanks.